made their Christmas wish list. It most likely included consistency, steady play, and growth. A memorable win in Houston, followed by a disappointment against Portland. Energizing performance against Oklahoma City, but then a loss against the sub-500 team in Indiana. Now the Pels are back home for a showdown with the Southwest Division rival, the San Antonio Spurs. Tim Duncan and company looking to bounce back from a loss at home yesterday. While the Pels, with Anthony Davis, will try to get a second win this season against the defending champions. It's a holiday showdown with the Pels and Spurs, and it's up next on Fox Sports New Orleans. They get slow, and they never seem to kick it into another gear. If it's slow, slow starting, it tends to be pretty slow. Former Texas Longhorn, who was taken to the first round three years ago, the 23-year-old. So stronger. For the first on five attempts. Danny Green. And Duncan will get there. Nice take by Tim Duncan. First player taken of the night. 18 years later. Pocket pass is a good one. Duncan came out. Anthony Davis had it tapped away. Finishing over the top. Duncan tried to have his way in the paint. And forced it and got it on a frozen rope hook. Yeah, that's too have, simple. We got 30 tonight. He's not going to play that's that many. Eight early points. Anthony Davis all the way to the rack. So the Pelicans, five and a half minutes gone by. They get it off in time. And again, it didn't look pretty. A quick bunch of points. That's a great look. He's got AD for the mob. Does he kill yeah. almost? But boy, they do pass the ball, don't they? Ginobili blocked away by Anthony Davis. Holiday. Now deep in the shot clock. Ryan Anderson. Good move in the left hand. I like that start. It's always effective. Anthony Davis. What a pass by Holiday. That looked better. <laughs> Again, eye contact with Drew Holiday. He just kind of gave him that look. And when he when he got down to almost the baseline, reverse spin. Perfect pass. Anthony Davis bites him, Duncan. Yeah. You know, he's a point forward. Let's face it. He's a guard with guard skills in his hands. Um, Splitter the other way. Man. Got you. And they they had to look at Splitter on the mismatch. Anthony Davis set it up. Evans. A three. Yes. We talked about it. He's a different guy this Chuck across the lane by Tyreek. It'll be Duncan on the reverse. He was my favorite. My favorite hawk. Anthony Davis filling it up. Five-point game. So AD up to 12 and 5. On the run out again. Blocked away Anthony Davis. That is his third, make it his second of the night. Boy, he almost took it out of the air himself. He batted it. Anthony Davis a little pocket pass. Stroke looking better now. Really gathering and settling, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's Man. That's Anthony hot. Davis feeling it now, isn't he? Give him and the a ball. timeout for Greg Popovich. So AD has the last six points for the Pelicans. No, this is a nice job. I'm a little frustrated by that last play, but Holiday on the drive. And it's just had a triple-double a couple of weeks ago. Second oldest and on his way to the rim. It'll be a reach. And free throws coming up for Duncan. And Anthony Davis ready to take off before the DL foul. In the open floor, Anthony Davis spikes it away. Salmons will keep it in play. Now, Anthony Davis working against the much smaller man. Spins away and goes to the hole. That's big time right there. Tells by three. Boy, what a sequence to get the block and the... So Ryan Anderson with the make is four of eight. Anthony Davis defending it and taking it down. Two of three from beyond the arc. Quick into the post. Anthony Davis leading him up top of the jump ball. The future Hall of Famer, Tim Duncan, denied. The 21-year-old Davis, pretty emotional right now. They're on their feet in New Orleans, and with good reason. Anthony Davis has turned this into a block party. He points to the bench already, and by the way, you might want to guard him. Now Duncan facing up against Ryan Anderson. Free throws. You knew free throws were coming out of him. Phenomenal once again. Yeah, you definitely should see him because this is pretty impressive. Four blocks in the quarter, five total, and, and really just dominated. Bellinelli doesn't have to be asked twice. And leaves it off beautifully for Duncan. Six-point game. Can't go dry here. Two and a half to play. Tim Duncan now. Anthony Davis. Pretty pass. Ryan Anderson. That'll do it. A.D. 
the board, and we already talked about the bench. They had to come through. They did, and it is all over. Pelicans back over the 500 market for the first time in franchise history. Win consecutive games of the same season against the San Antonio Spurs. Thanks, Joel. Here with Anthony Davis, once again, the man of the hour. AJ, you talked a lot about needing to out-physical this team and beefing up the physicality the Pelicans play with. Do you feel like your team answered that challenge tonight? Well, I think we did. You know, I think our first game they got 17 offensive rebounds. I'm um, not sure what they had, but I know it wasn't 17. You know, we ran them off the line. Uh, they hit a couple of threes, but uh, I think we got into where uh, we want our limit to be. You know, we rebounded the ball, pushed in transition. A lot of guys stepped up tonight. You know, Austin hit a big three when they when Boyd Dio hit two batches in a row and get him down to four. Hit that three, we went up seven. So, you know, a lot of guys stepped up tonight, and that's what we need. The bench was huge, as was Ryan Anderson. This crowd went crazy when you found him there for one of those final scores. As more people double team you, what's the chemistry like in finding your teammates like Ryan and Drew and Tyreek? Uh, be a point guard. You know, um, that's what Coach tell me when um, you know you're a good player when you, you know, command double team. So uh, I'm starting to learn how to how to find guys out of that double team and just being patient, knowing that uh, when I when I drive, you know, God's going to step up, and that's when I find you know Ryan and Lexi, Jeff. You know, Omer, all them guys, you know, even our shooters, you know. So um, that's, that's what I'm trying to do right now, make sure that I find our guys that's wide open. Drew Holiday is huge on both sides of the ball. The Spurs had a lot of turnovers tonight. How key was he in that? Oh, uh, he's huge. You know, I think he's one of the best, you know, on-ball defenders we have in this league. And uh, he plays hard, you know, the whole 48 minutes. And that's what we need from him. You know, he's one of our leaders. And he makes sure that we get going, especially on the defensive end when he's up there pressuring the ball, you know. He's the only couple guys can play with two fouls, you know, and still put pressure on the ball. So um, we love having Drew, and he can also do it offensively. Um, and he showed that tonight. Now, you told me your finger was fine, so I think this means you'll be able to play tonight in Chicago for the first time. You'll be healthy going home. What are you expecting? I don't know. You know, I'm getting chills right now, you know. Um, now, every game, you know, before Chicago, I always get hurt, so... You know, I'm glad that I was able to, you know, finish this one out. Had a scary one once I read through the, uh, the pass to me. You know, luckily it was just my thumb, just a little blood. So, um, you know, I'm just excited to go back home in front of friends and family and try to get another win. You're going home, by the way, leading the Western Conference in all-star votes for the front court. That's got to make you a little bit proud and excited, huh? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, um, it's just an honor, you know, a testament to, you know, my teammates and the coaches that put work in with me throughout, you know, um, the summertime, you know, Team USA. And, you no, know, I just try to work hard, you know, each and every day, whether it's a game or a practice, shoot around, you know, whatever it is to get better. And you always do. Anthony, congratulations. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Jen. Joel?